For you in a few minutes' time. Time now is 8.40. Jenny Malloy was just nine years old when she walked into a police station with her two younger brothers and asked to be taken into care. What followed was a life separated from her siblings, moving from home to home. Now 30 years on, Jenny has told her story in a book which she describes the chaotic childhood with her parents and the care system that she says saved her. And we're joined by Jenny now. Very good morning to you. Morning. Well, many, many children have chaotic lives, but not many walk up to a police officer in a police station and say, basically, save me. Mm -hmm. What happened at home that made you do that? The, our home life had got progressively worse at home. And when you're living with parents who are both addicts, the life really quickly kind of folds in and just becomes really uncontrollable. Alcoholics or drug addicts or...? Al alcoholics, yeah. yeah, alcoholics. And the night before we went to the police station, a group of vigilantes had decided to come and smash our house in. Now, they probably were unaware that my parents weren't in the house, I don't know. Um, but the next morning, I just couldn't take living at home any longer. And I didn't know I was going to go to the police station until I was on the bus coming back from swimming with my brothers. And I just saw the police station, which we were really well known at. Mm. And I just thought, God, that, that's where I need to go into. And that's what I did. Wow. And that started you on a path through the care system. It did. And, and it's important to point out, I think one of the themes that you pick up on the book, this was not a, this is not a bad experience in itself. No. You, for you, the care system worked. Yep. Just, just because na there is a sort of, a, if you like, a narrative at the moment, which is that care systems so often let people down. We hear a lot about abuse of various kinds, mm. neglect in care homes. Mm. But yours is a positive story about what can happen. Mm. Yeah, I, I take nothing away from people who've experienced historical abuse I in care. But my story, and not only my story, many, many people's stories who I meet daily are ones of being receiving the most amazing care, support, dedication, compassion from social workers every day. Those social workers are what made me into what I am today. The system itself is, is a nightmare. But actually the people that run it, the social workers, they are amazing. And that is what I'm really clear about. Mm. How old were your brothers at the time? Um, they were six and 11. And were you regularly left alone as children? We were. Mm. We were. We became very used to it. You know, when you're living in that, it becomes normalised to you. And it's not until you step outside of it and you realise actually the violence and the alcohol and everything else that goes with it just isn't how you should be receiving a childhood. Do you think that some children, as you sort of alluded to it there, they grow up just thinking that it's, mm. it's normal? Absolutely. If you don't escape from it, how else are you going to mm. ever know that there's a different life? I was transported from a life of such extreme poverty and violence and degradation to a life of care, love, warmth. You know, it was just a two totally different worlds. When you said to the police, we need help, yeah. what, did they, what did they do? What did they do? Well, they just immediately took us behind. Uh, they knew who we were. You know, we were well-known children. They knew who we were. Um, I asked to see my social worker. I said I wasn't going back home. I wanted to go into care. And they just kind of immediately kind of took us in. And I just remember them feeding us and giving us kind of drinks and stuff. And um, it was really quick mm. before the social workers turned up. And, and, you know, and that was it. We were then kind of placed into care. Into the most amazing children's home, I will say. Most amazing children's home. Fast forward us to kind of where you are now. Yes. Because you, you created, you, you have your own family. You I have, do. You've got, is it two daughters? I've got one daughter, one son and one granddaughter. Okay. And how do you, uh, it took you a long time before you were able to talk to them, didn't it? About. It did. About your own life. Yeah. Why, why, why was that something you felt the need to keep quiet? I, when I left care, I felt totally ashamed of A, why we was in care, and also of the fact that I knew that the public perception of young people that had been in care, well, they were going to fail. And you read it day after day after day in the papers, big headlines, you know, 70% um, of care leavers are in prison, so, you know, and it goes on. So I didn't want anybody to judge me, and of course what I was doing was judging myself, that's really what I was doing. So I didn't hardly tell anybody, uh, all the way through till um, I decided to write the book. And then I still wasn't going to tell anyone. That's why the name, the book is written under Hope Daniels. Because actually I didn't feel that I could come out and say, this is who I am. You're still worried that your own, your own family, your son or daughter might 
think differently of you somehow? Well, not so much the kids. What I was more worried about with them is that I was worried that the judgment would go on to them. Because, you know, it, you are kind of expected to not be a good parent. And actually, we are very good parents. You know, we want to give our children what we never received. Mm. So the opposite quite often is true. So I didn't want it to go on to them, but the children are just totally happy. They, are, they just love it all. They think it's amazing. And were you able to establish good relations with your parents in the end? Um, I, was a, I was able to establish a, a type of relationship mm. with them because, you know, whatever your parents do to you, and it's really difficult to understand if it hasn't happened to you, mm. but you can't help but love them. Mm. And you really can't. And, and you have got an attachment to them. Whether or not it's, a, it's an appropriate attachment, you have. And it would have been more difficult for me as an adult to not have gone back and try to kind of heal some sort of relationship with them, which is what I did, than not. Yeah. Well, it's lovely talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Jenny's book is Hackney Child's A True Story of Surviving Poverty in the Care System. But as you say, you've written it under a different name, haven't you? I have, Hope under Hope Daniels. Daniels yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's published next week. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Time